welcome to Cocktails and Confessions. I'm your host, Serena Wolf. This is the show where I make you fabulous cocktails while confessing cocktail sins of my past. Today, we'll be discussing one of my favorite alcoholic beverages, vodka. Before I make you a fancy pomegranate gimlet, I'm going to tell you a little story about a turning point in my relationship with vodka. Let's flash back to 2003. This was a time period in my life where I appreciated the taste of straight vodka and then going to various clubs. Anyway, one evening I had several glasses of vodka and then decided to hit the clue. When I got there, I was feeling particularly festive. I hopped up on the table, whipping out all my best dance moves. Suddenly, this giant security guard comes over and like lifts me off the table. And then he tied his security jacket around my waist and like pushed me out of the club and was like, ma'am, you need to leave right now. I, you know, went home, woke up the next morning, started spreading the news about this travesty. Don't go to this club, they'll kick you out for absolutely no reason. At which point, I was informed that I was not, in fact, kicked out of the club for dancing on the table. I was kicked out for indecent exposure. Apparently, during one of my more festive dance moves, I had split my pants from crotch to waistband and then was essentially getting down in assless chaps in front of 250 people, which would make more sense about why I was asked to leave. That experience put me off many things, namely vodka, tight pants, and table dancing. But now that I have a little distance from the experience, I have happily worked vodka back into my life in the form of pomegranate vodka gimlet. So we are going to start by slicing a couple thin lime rounds, which we are just going to put into our cocktail glass. You can just put them around your ice cube. Then we are going to put in about two tablespoons of these beautiful pomegranate arrows. Next, fill a cocktail shaker with ice, which I obviously already did. We're going to add about two ounces of vodka of your choice. I'm a Tito's girl. Then we're gonna juice one whole lime. Add about an ounce and a half of pomegranate juice. Not very much, just for a little bit of that tart sweet flavor. Put the top on your cocktail shaker. Please do this very firmly. Accidents are known to happen. And then we're gonna give it a little shake. That should do it. You just want the outside to be nice and frosty like this. Strain the cocktail into our prepared glass. Makes you want to break out my assless chaps. You can blur it. <laughs> if you too would like to break out your assless chaps and make more fabulous cocktails, make sure to subscribe below and check out www.domesticate-me.com. Cheers. I'm a top show model, expensive taste, and this night goes just like this list I made. It goes one for the money, two for the show, three of us.